Hi guys, so welcome back sa channel ko. This is Engineer Ray Mart of Engineer Prof PH. So if you are not yet a subscriber of this channel, guys, please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. So ang video na to guys is dedicated para sa mga mechanical engineering, especially yung mga freshmen. So yung mga incoming first year mechanical engineering students. So first of all guys, welcome to mechanical engineering. Yes. So ginas nyo yan guys ha. So panindigan natin. Diba? So ang mechanical engineering guys is a very important course in engineering. So... Hindi nyo na itatanong guys, ang mechanical engineering is a very important profession. Kailangan na kailangan tayo ng society. So, ang mechanical engineering guys is a very broad profession. So, let me give you some example of kung ano talagang ginagawa ng mga mechanical engineers. So, first guys, na pinaka-importante role natin sa society is in the field of energy conversion. So, alam naman natin guys, di ba, kailangan na kailangan natin yung energy for electricity. And yung energy conversion guys is concerned sa mga power plants, hydroelectric power plants, we have geothermal power plants, we have wind power plants, and many more power plants that converts, you know, mechanical energy to electrical energy. So, very important tayo guys in energy conversion. So, ginagamit natin siya in our everyday life. Now, secondly guys, uh, one of the most important role of mechanical engineers is for uh, health and safety. So, ngayon guys, di ba, pandemic, so sa mga hospital guys, importante yung ventilation system. So, ang ventilation system is actually a system that recirculates air. So, mechanical engineer guys yung nagdi-design ng ventilation system. So, kung walang recirculation of air sa hospital or any establishment, so, madaling kumalat guys yung virus. So, dapat napapalitan yung air mechanically. Mechanical driven yung ating mga equipment. Anything guys that is mechanical is trabaho yan ng mechanical engineering. So, May mga subfields tayo guys sa automotive and uh, robotics. So marami pa guys. So tingnan nyo guys sa uh, CHED Memorandum Order. So ang curriculum natin guys is based on CMO or CHED Memorandum Order number 97 series of 2017. So ang old curriculum guys which is kung saan ako nanggaling is a 5-year engineering course. So kayo guys you are taking the new curriculum that is 4-year engineering course. So ano ba yung mga kailangan yung gawin bago kayo pumasok sa engineering. Now guys, before sa 5-year engineering course, mayroon tayong mga subjects like algebra, we have plane and spherical trigonometry, we have plane and solid geometry, we have analytic geometry. And back then guys, ang algebra po nga nun is dalawa. You have your college algebra and you have your advanced algebra. Then, sa new curriculum guys, wala na tayong mga subject na ganun. So, it's very important na alam natin yung mga dating topic na tinanggal because of K-12 program and magamit natin siya guys in our subject first year. So ito guys yung mga subject natin during first year. So first year guys meron tayong calculus 1, we have our chemistry for engineers, we have our mechanical engineering orientation and we have our engineering drawing. So yun guys yung apat natin na major subject during our first semester. So, let's uh, focus muna tayo guys dun sa Calculus 1. So, Calculus 1 guys is Differential Calculus. So, ano ba yung mga kailangan natin na foundation para hindi tayo mahirapan sa Calculus? So, Calculus, so, nanganganak kasi guys yung topic niya eh. Nanganganak yung scope ng Calculus. So, for Calculus, you should know the fundamental concept of course, Algebra, Trigonometry, and Geometry. So, yun guys, di ba yung pinag-aaralan natin for our pre-Calculus during our senior high school. Now, if you are not a uh, STEM strand, hindi ka STEM, pero kung gusto mo mag-engineering, so okay lang yun guys. So as long as pag-aralan natin yung mga uh, topic na hindi natin uh, diniscuss during senior high school because hindi tayo STEM strand para hindi tayo mahirapan for Calculus 1 and Chemistry for Engineers. So ang Chemistry for Engineers guys is not the same sa so, general chemistry na tinatake natin during our senior high school. Kasi guys, yung general chemistry is yung parang in general yung pagka-explain ng chemistry, mga elements, uh, matter. Well, in our chemistry for engineer guys, we will focus on the application of chemistry in mechanical engineering. For example guys, yung nga sinabi ko kanina, energy conversion, you have your fuels, yung mga some sort of things na related to mechanical. So hindi naman to guys yung mag-memorize ka pa ng mga elements or anything, 
this is actually the practical application of chemistry in the field of mechanical engineering. So yun guys. Now let's go guys doon sa engineering drawing. So sa engineering drawing guys, ito yung medyo magastos talagang subject because you need drawing materials like uh, unipins, yung mga ball pens na medyo mahal nga siya. Uh, you have those drawing materials. Uh, mga cotton band, A4, ganon. And uh, mga any drawing materials as required by your instructor or professors. Then, doon tayo guys sa mechanical engineering orientation. Yung mechanical engineering orientation guys is actually a subject that introduces mechanical engineering to you. So, ipapaliwanag sa'yo guys for first uh, one sem, papaliwanag sa'yo ng iyong instructor kung ano ba talagang ginagawa sa mechanical engineering. So, doon ka guys magkakaroon ng interest to pursue this course. Now, Yung second sem natin, guys, is actually composed of three subjects. You have your calculus 2, you have your physics, and you have your uh, computer-aided drafting or yung CAD na sinasabi. So, yung calculus 2, guys, you can take that. If you pass calculus 1, you can take calculus 2. So, otherwise, hindi. And if you pass calculus 1, you can also take physics for engineers. So, yung guys, yung physics for engineers, again, it is not a typical physics na ginagawa natin. Although may mga topic pa rin tayo na madidiscuss doon na familiar to you na diniscuss nyo yung high school. But it's something different kasi it's a physics that is applied to engineering. So specifically tayo guys sa mechanical engineering. Now yung calculus 2 guys is your integral calculus. So yung calculus 1 is differential. Prerequisite. So, ibig sabihin guys, ang prerequisite is kailangan mong ipasa yung calculus 1 in order to take calculus 2. So magkakonect tayo guys. Hindi pwedeng isa lang yung itake natin. So Dalawa dapat sila, calculus 1 and calculus 2. And then yung drawing guys, computer-aided drafting. Yung computer na tayo magdo-drawing, hindi na yung manual. Kung sa engineering drawing guys, first sem, that is manual drawing. In computer-aided drafting, ang gagawin natin guys is uh, computer na yung magdi-design ng ating mga drawing. So it's more on electronics na. Now, Yung computer-aided drafting, guys, is very important kasi gamit na gamit siya sa field, actually. So, yun ang masyadong gamit na gamit when you are pag nagtatrabaho ka na. Now, ang advice ko, guys, sa mga incoming first year is, of course, preparation. Preparation is the key. Now, ang important, guys, na preparation for you is, of course, pag-aralan natin yung mga fundamental concept. So, if you're a STEM strand, you have an advantage, of course, kasi na-take mo na yung mga subject algebra, but you need to study kasi based on my experience, marami pa rin kahit STEM strand ang nag-struggle because of yung retention, guys. Yun ang pinaka-importante na as a professor sa college, sa engineering, uh, very important sa amin, guys, yung inyong retention. So, tinitingnan kasi talaga namin is yung retention, how you understand a certain idea or yung topic. Now, kung hindi ka naman STEM strand, Ito talaga yung challenge, guys. So, if you're not a STEM strand, so, kailangan natin, guys, mag-double time. So, it will be a challenge, guys, if you are not a uh, STEM no high school. Kasi, of course, uh, konti lang yung background mo, algebra. So, before ka, guys, mag-proceed uh, to engineering, of course, kung gusto mo talaga mag maging engineer, so, pag-aralan natin, guys, yung mga algebra, trigonometry, and geometry. So, yung tatlong subject na yun, guys, is very important. So, hindi naman guys, ibig sabihin na hindi ka STEM strand, eh hindi ka na pwedeng mag-engineering. So, parang may tinitake kasi guys na units for you to proceed to engineering. So, it has something to do with your willingness to learn. So, kahit na STEM strand ka or hindi ka STEM strand, it doesn't matter guys, as long as willing ka matuto. So, ano ba yung mga must-haves as an engineering student? Of course guys, you need your calculator. So, ang ginagamit natin calculator dito guys is ito. This is your uh, 570ES Plus, Casio. So, Casio 570ES Plus. And dati kasi guys, ang ginagamit namin is ito. This is your 911ES Plus. So, anong pagkakaiba ng dalawa guys? So, ang 911ES Plus is meron siyang solar panel. And yung 570 is walang solar panel. Ito guys, this is not allowed in the board exam. Ito, this is allowed. So, ito yung gagamitin natin for... Uh, pag nag tayo ng engineering. So, this is a must-have uh, item. Okay? Now, of course, uh, lalo na ngayon, guys, na online class na, so, distant learning tayo, importante, guys, na mayroon tayong mga PDF or e-books. Bakit? So, ito, guys, study hack. 
So if you have PDFs or ebooks, yung mga electronic copy ng uh, libro or material na yung iba is libre na download sa internet, you can actually save data. Kung gumagamit ka guys ng data in your phone, so hindi naman pwede na araw-araw kang magre-research. If you have books na PDF na ready-made na, kahit hindi ka na mag-internet, as long as you, you have those reference, mas madaling kang uh, makakapag-study guys. Kasi because you will not be having mobile data too much. So yun na yung gagamitin mo for your reference. So mas maganda yung guys, study hack, you should have your PDF or electronic book reviewers, yung mga e-books natin. So importante yung importante yun. So if you don't have review materials, paano tayo mag-study? So review materials is important. So once again guys, wag na kayong bibili nitong calculator. So itong calculator na to, this is 911ES+. Plus. So kung mapansin nyo guys, medyo, so yan, medyo ano na yung aking calculator. Wala na, wala nang mga label. So, kasi dati guys, hindi ako masyadong marunong sa math. Hindi naman ako masyadong matalino. So every time talaga, ay double time para mag-study. So if you know in yourself na medyo alanganin tayo sa foundation, so we need to double time. So, ang 30 minutes, guys, 30 minutes per day study or 1 hour is actually very, ano, very good na yan. Okay? So, wala lang, hindi makakalipas yung isang araw na hindi tayo makapag-study. At least 30 minutes lang, guys, pwedeng-pwede na yan. So, those are yung mga bagay na ma-expect nyo, guys, once you take up mechanical engineering. So, first sem, you have your calculus. Yung mga technical subjects natin, calculus, you have your chemistry. So, if you are not a STEM strand, guys, or you are a STEM strand, much better, don't worry. Kasi napapag-aralan naman yan. So, hindi naman tayo pwedeng magaling agad. So, it doesn't matter kung anong status mo today as long as you are committed to learn. So, kailangan lang natin ng willingness. So, if you're willing to learn, you will learn. And kung gusto mo talagang maging engineer, uh, you will, uh, you must believe in yourself. So, you must believe that you can do it. So, kasi marami ngayon ang nag-aalangan because of hindi nga sila magaling sa math. As I always say sa mga videos ko before, hindi mo naman kailangan maging magaling sa math. It's some sort of talent na pwede mong ma-acquire through learning. Hindi, man, hindi naman yung guys uh, yung parang inborn. So may inborn, meron ding talent na natututunan. So it's all about your practice. Now guys, uh, iwan ko to sa inyo that when you enter college, you should uh, practice or you should develop your study habit. So yun yung pinaka-importante guys dito. Study habit. It doesn't matter kung mga 30 minutes lang yan or 1 hour as long as you study almost every day hindi naman every day kasi there are ad, uh, time for other things okay so one of the most important thing na pwede kong i-advise sa inyo guys lalo, lalo na sa mga first year freshman engineering student mechanical specifically yes you should enjoy learning so napakasaya guys sa uh, engineering ang experience so kung sinasabi ng iba guys that this is a stressful environment well of course tama sila guys tama sila napaka stress dito but it's very an enjoying feeling if you're learning every day, learning new things. But you're actually going out to your comfort zone. So, pag palagi lang kasi tayo guys na sa comfort zone, we will not grow as a person. Diba? So, sa engineering, you get to learn everything and maraming struggle guys. And the fulfillment is actually overcoming those struggles and those failures. So, sa engineering guys, sanay tayong mag-fail. But that failure actually gives us more strength para magpatuloy. So, sa engineering mo guys, matututunan na, the more you fail, the more learning you have. So, hindi ko naman guys sinasabi na dapat palagi tayo mag-fail. But, sa engineering, it's okay to fail. Hindi yun a uh, big deal sa atin. So, kung binigay ni Lord na mag-fail tayo, tatanggapin natin yun as a blessing because it's a new opportunity to actually learn. So, if we win, if we pass, it's a blessing. If we fail, it's actually a blessing again. Kasi, you get to learn. Hindi mo pwedeng tingnan siya in a way na it will actually make your morale lower. Hindi pwede yun. So, sa engineering guys, it's okay to fail. Hindi yun big deal. It's actually good in life na mag-fail tayo sometimes para tayo ay mag-grow as a person. So, that's it guys. I hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo for this video. So, abangan nyo guys yung mga next vlog ko about this course and sa engineering yung mga lectures of course importante yon and if you're not yet guys a subscriber of this channel please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates so thank you guys for my 4000 almost 4000 na kayong subscribers ko
And of course, yung 10,000 followers natin sa Facebook. So, i-like nyo guys yung page natin. Yung Facebook page natin guys, i-like nyo yun and i-follow. So, for more review materials and lecture videos. Thank you guys. Stay safe. God bless you all. And I hope that you survive that course and one day you can become an engineer. So, you must believe in yourself. So, importante yan. And sabay ng dasal guys. Importante yung prayers. Thank you guys. Stay safe. God bless you.